Hello everyone, welcome to another race. We're here in Belgium, it's Ferrari on the front row with Blade Driver, so we're also there. Then we have Frontly, Fernandez, Sierra, Del Pepsi, MP4, Gudorov, Susanna, UP Mall, Electro, Babinas, Zane, Livery, Tialka, Noi, Zigon, Venta, Paul, Alonso, and then Zane, a new Yui who will round up the grid. So it's for 11 laps out here in Belgium, and it's a wet one. So be prepared for an exciting race. All you guys are going to be tied on points right now. Five red lights to the Belgian Grand Prix. It lights out and away we go. Amazing stop by Ferrari. Cutting off the Lady Jones like doing what he should be doing there. Holding that position. I think he's done it well. And here I am for turn one. Zay's just been penalized further down there. He's in P20. That's over to affect him too much as Lady like Jones takes the lead. So through Radion. But for Ryan will have the advantage of the slipstream, he's ahead of Lady Dragon Sonic now. And yeah, Ferrari leads the way in the Red Bull as the wall gets track limit warning. It's actually, it looks to be a Ferrari car there. It's his honor, he's trying to make a move on Sierra for P3. I mean, P4, sorry. Um, I don't know, he's not making it yet, he's got to be careful though. The teams are going to want to put as big of a gap as they can between them and drivers to avoid the effects of um, rain going away. Cezanne, like, oh, you'll try his best, but nothing at the moment. Zane currently trying to catch up to UK Ball. Um, but Electro not doing too good at the moment at all in the Lotus Renault. He's down to P11, fighting for P10. Could take a free blood job on as he has the inside line on iron at Mavinus. And yes, it looks like he could have to move if he could just stick the inside line here. No! Unfortunately for him, he did not get it. And Ferrari leads after the first lap of the Grand Prix. Ferrari and the Red Bull looking strong right now. Way the jump sonic, no pace. In comparison to his team right now, because currently he's going ahead and it's probably going it out. But the slipstream probably will be able to get by very easily, even though his ERS battery is completely gone almost. And probably now he'll look for him down the inside. Oh, it's contact there! Probably is penalized. That could have been horribly wrong for Ferrari there. Luckily for him, the contact wasn't worse. That's going to affect him in this Grand Prix. Paul's got a warning there. Electro down in B12 now, UK ball P11. The Gorons dropped down P10. And now Tim Clarence are placed 8th and 9th right now. At the moment, McLaren's looking pretty good. Mm, but yeah, right now, we're just looking at the front guys here as Blade Dragon Sonic. What a move there, he's in the V2 now. Chasing down his teammate, Rackard Crumpley, for P1 in the Grand Prix. He has the fast slap, he goes down the inside, he's got the move done. And Crumpley's look could also get worse, because Ferrari could be looking for a move anytime soon as Alonso's just been realised. But out of him, looks like we're in contact with Yui. That's what it seems to be. But now Crumpley, he's, a lo he's almost alongside Blood the Dragon's only. Blood the Dragon's only weaving along the streets, that's not legal at all. That does not look good whatsoever. And now Blade Dragon's only flying away in the race now. He's in the lead. And obviously. 
Cody and Dragon One Two, but Crumpy does need to deal with the penalty. Ferrari could look for going down inside the pool. Oh no, he's actually going to try and go for an outside line. That could be good for speed. However, he's not able to put himself ahead of Crumpy. So Crumpy keeps the P2 position for now. Don't know how long though, but it will. You will keep it. Oh, but for right now, you can see him there, Slipstream, he's, up, he's holding alongside, he gets blocked by Crumpley, so he must slow down. This is unfortunate news. Full Ferrari there. So close to getting the move done, but just unable to do it just now. As Susanna could look for him, Daddy is out of Sierra, Sierra needs to budge up. Long he does. However, Sierra may have a gap closed in front of him. And no, the, the gap didn't get closed, so I kept the gap open. Keeping it fair, I guess, right? Still, he'll have to slipstream, so he should be able to get ahead of Susanna. If he can find the room, Susanna moves over. Honey. Sierra into a bad position. You can see how that has affected him. Good tactic by Susanna. Susanna keeping that people place. Very good driver there. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that look. Yui dropping down in the last place there. Over 30 seconds behind Boy, the driver time who leads away with the fastest F2 now. <laughs> um, Crumpy will be using the slipstream to pull in the gap a little bit more. However, the grip round here just isn't good at the moment as it's just wet. Crumpy is just falling behind Boy, the driver time. Um, no DRS obviously since it's wet conditions. And currently fast slap with rapid step to free there. Uh, look at her off some bows going on for Gorov. Might look for a move down Ravenous. Yes, he does. He, he does go for a move and it's P11. For I will be Gorov. Here. In the Belgian Grand Prix. Oh, what's up? Oh, oh, massive contact down there. All the drivers there are oh, very lucky to be okay. That could have been horrible for Sierra. He had a rear right puncture. Hefty hit. No one out the race, though. But drivers are going to fly by at rapid speeds. This is not good for driver safety. Zane will be coming up to that very shortly. Luckily, it's all the straight. Oh, Rose, oh, 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 yes, there is contact with Tabitha Lonto. Right to the back of Sierra. Sierra is okay, however. But he still has that puncture. On the red ball, this will affect him massively. Could he get lapped at the end of this? And I don't know why, but this these conditions are drying up. They are definitely drying up. <coughs> this race, oh, that this race I swear. But Sierra now is in, in the, probably the middle of second two now at this point. He's, go, he's in the middle of the one. As Blade of Dragons like, is going to enter sector two sometime soon. But Crumpley is alongside him. They're fighting for the lead. Crumpley fastest in that first sector. And Crumpley that sticks a wonderful move. Wow, impressive stuff for the Hungarian. Love it. Absolutely love it. 
Sierra was still on the way to the pit lane. The amount of time he's losing is insane. Will Sierra make it back to the pit lane though? With full properly and later drugs are to reach him. Cause they are on the same area now. Crump is already went through lunch of all. And now it's time for I mean Sierra's already went through that and now Crump and Blade Drugs are they went through lunch of all. And there we are Sierra diving into the pit lane. Obviously it's gonna be lap, but what tires is it going to be? It's going to be the wet tires for PCL. So he's going to come out in last place, unfortunately, and a lap down. That effect that shows how bad a puncture is around here. That's what the punctures do to you. The punctures put you all the way down there. As now, couple of villagers like this side by side. Oh, the cable straight. The blade drops are like, is through. And he's flying right now. This has got to be a sign of the truck drying up, surely. It really can't last for that long now. Jack's on four now, fast sector one. In the McLaren, something is going on. I'm convinced that there's about, it's about to turn it dries. Any time now. Currently, currently on the fast up the Grand Prix. He's in P2. Ferrari actually. Not far behind the four. I think he pulled in quite a bit of time actually. Um, so yeah, though, it's still. He's not going to make any progress. How the safe car happens in terms of unlocked. Yeah, that's onto a W moment. Now your boy just went fastest lap. By by entire eight tenths of a second. Like dying. No, no, UK ball. He's in the pit lane. He's on the inters. How long will it be into conditions, though? Like, how long will it be? Before the guys come in for dry tyres. You see many drivers entering the pit lane for intermediates. Like, I'm going to be completely honest here, I'm not going to lie. It still looks like it is, and it isn't, as a quad to all these guys. Double stack for the Ferrari BMWs. They've managed it perfectly. What a double stack. A Sierra battling now for McLaren. Which McLaren is that? Is it MP4? No, that's I in the Babylon. Yeah, we're stuck behind I the Ravners. But it is dry. So people who have hit the fenders are going to be quicker than the ones on West. But Alonso, he's going to benefit the most. He's already on softs. As both the Dragons in the pit lane, Lee the Dragon Sonic, will get the advantage of the two. What happened? Electro is out the race. What? He has crashed somewhere. I'm looking on the map. Could it have been in the pit lane? Don't know. I genuinely don't know. And then I'll probably with a pretty good exit there from the virtual. We get Electro out of the race. 
as Iron Bavarus gets held up. He's going to be putting on so ties. He's hit the wall and Iron Bavarus is out as well. <laughs> Another virtual safety car. Yeah, that's another retirement from hitting the wall in the pit lane. Let's hope T. Helga doesn't have the same issues. Yep, he's fine. Paul is fine now. Uh, Venta. Yep, just make a joke because there's a lot of people just diving, diving the pit lane quite fast, so yeah. Oh jeez the lag. And what a double stack. For Ferrari BMW. That was absolute perfection. As you see now, the Lady Dragon Cycle lead us away. On to the 10th lap, Zid. Has caused a collision. T Helka's involved. Two, um. And yeah, it's all chaos right now. And yes, look at this. The William Fan on for points. Now has a puncture. And we'll have to pit. What do you tell us? And there is more contact down the field. This is not a good day for Williams. They were looking for at least a point. And now this has happened to them. This should mean Italia could be up for a third point of the season. Well, we've got two points of this driver. But he got points twice, one point, but just this one driver did it. Currently, Cesare on for the podium because of the penalty that Crumbly is facing. However, there's a battle for the lead as we head on to the final lap of the Grand Prix very soon. The driver's head for the launcher one now. Who's it here? Oh, for I've been held up. And this is almost certainly ruined the chances. And this safety goes out. Currently out the race. A disastrous DNF! And he held good out of the race too. This race is, is wild. Unfortunate events occurring. And this will be Blade of Sonic is your race victor. Here in Belgium. Ferrari gets P2. A well fought results from the Brazilian there. Congratulations. Zanek will be getting P3 in the end. So that's him on the podium once again. Congratulations to the pole. El Pepsi, the one time race winner, will finish P4. With MP4 finishing P5. Then we'll have Fernandez in P6. We go on P7, UK more P8, and the rest will be confirmed soon. Lunar's like through poo on at the moment. Then Zayn finally passing work from the DNF. Hall though, he'll be. He should be getting a P9 result. And actually, Venda will score Toro Russell points. This is crucial for their championship fight for P10. Because currently, their rivals are the only, their, their rivals, the only team that hasn't scored points yet. Which is Italia. <gasps> wait a minute, no way that just happened. Oh my. Never mind. The safety car has came out at the wrong time for them. They are stuck behind the safety car. Liberal was hot. Zane will call to score the point because Blade Drags on King's victory. Ferrari will get the second P2. Cesare will get P3. 
Oh, Pepsi will get P4. Then P4, P5. Fernandez, P6. Two Mercedes guys, P7. I'm here. You can all move on to one now. Um, unfortunate stuff though. For Tom Russell missing out on points in a very cruel way. Cause you know, he was miles ahead there. Miles away. Sierra's gonna finish one lap down. These guys, there's just a whole train of cars getting carried by the safety car. From 10th down to 17th. This is the train of people. Zane, he'll be heading through the final sector now. And he'll be scoring four centimeters and points off a very um, dramatic experience. Um, yeah, not the way anyone would have expected for Sanjay to get points, but yeah, they've gone points this weekend, they're carrying two away. Well done to them. A hard fought performance, although it was very difficult at times. And now I have to file a few drivers here. Paul will be scoring points for Italia, the final points. And yeah. Heading through the final sector now. All these guys are in this final sector, so not long ago. So all we need to do now is just wait for these guys to finish behind the safety car. And currently, yeah, since no penalties from Paul, he'll be taking away them points. Alonso will live easy, they'll be dropping to the back of that queue. So at the bottom of the queue will be livery Alonso Zay. That's from worst to best. And yet said I was gonna follow these guys to the line. And yeah, Paul Paul nope did not win, gets P10. Then everyone else crosses the line here. And he really pulled him celebrations. So Blade Rounds are taking victory with the fast slap after a controversial entrance to the last lap. Ferrari will get P2. Disappointing for Red Bull since he been so close to victory. So, so close. Susanna will receive the P3 honors. So, yeah, good for him. And yeah, we need time to listen to the anthem, so yeah, let's listen to my view and that anthem. Blade Rats have wins, it's Ferrari, P2, they have Sonic, have Pepsi, have P4, Bananas, Pico, UK, Wall, Zane, Paul, Fender. Nawawi, Z1, Yui, Jose, Alonso, Livery, Sierra, Crumpley, Tialka, Electro, and Babless. Crumpley, Tialka, Electro, Babless, all the ones who do that. So yeah, that is it. Here in Belgium. We'll see you in the next race. I hope you enjoy the summer break. Goodbye, everyone. Peace.